So, we will discuss a few more problems. So, problem number 12 is the partition function of the system represented by q equals to exponential of a t to the 3 times v, where a is a constant calculate average pressure, average energy to the 2 and heat capacity at constant volume. Problem number 12 is the partition function of a system represented by q equals to e exponential of a t to the 3 times v, where t and v are absolute temperature and volume respectively and a is a constant. And we need to calculate average pressure, average energy to the 2 and heat capacity at constant volume at constant heat capacity at constant volume or CV. It is pretty straightforward problem. Uh, so, partition function is given and we know average pressure is K B T del L n Q Y del V at constant number of particles and temperature. So, this is the uh, expression for average pressure. So, we need to take log first. So, L n Q gives us A T to the 3 times V and del L n Q by del V constant number of particles and temperature gives us A T to the 3. So, average pressure is K B times T times A T to the 3. So, it gives us K B times A T to the 4. So, this is the expression for average pressure. Next, we need to calculate average energy to the 2. So, average energy is K B T to the 2 del L n Q by del T at constant number of particles and volume. So, del L n Q by del T at constant n and v, we get 3 a t to the 2 times v. So, average energy we are getting 3 a k b t to the 4 times v. So, once we get the average energy, we can calculate average energy to the 2, which is nothing but 9 a to the 2 k b to the 2 t to the 8 times v, v to the 2. Okay. And then we can calculate C v. So, C v is del u by del t at constant volume. So, we get C v is 
12 a k b t to the 3 times v. So, as I said this is a this is pretty, pretty much straightforward problem only thing we have to apply the equations we have to do the differentiation with respect to v with we have to do, we have to do the different we have to do the differentiation of l n q with respect to v and with respect to uh, t in order to get uh, average pressure and average uh, energy once we get the average energy we can calculate the average energy to the 2 and, and c v from there okay so next problem is, is very interesting one it says suppose one mole of an argon gas molecular weight is 40 argon gas are first held rigidly in position and then allowed to move freely. What is the change in entropy? You can consider temperature is 298 Kelvin and pressure P plus to 1 atmosphere. So, this problem says suppose 1 mole of an argon gas or argon atoms are first held digitally in position and then allowed to move freely what is the change in entropy. So, the catch here is the molecules or the atoms they are rigidly held in their positions and then allowed them to move freely. So, if they are held rigidly in their positions means initial entropy is 0 since the argon atoms are first held rigidly in their positions. So, S initial is 0 and we need to calculate entropy change means entropy change we say delta S for the process is S final minus S initial and we have obtained S initial 0. So, we need to calculate S final. So, S for S final we have to apply Sackwood Tedrod equation for calculating S final we need to apply Sackwood Tetrod equation. 
So, what is secuted dot equation that we already uh, derived? Secuted dot equation is S or he in this case is final is we have one mole of argon gas. So, N A times K B then logarithm of twice pi m k b t by h to the 2 to the 3 by 2 v e to the by, e to the 5 by 2 and by n. So, 1 mole means n a here k b value we know 1.38 times 10 to the uh, minus 23 in joule unit and mass of argon here. So, mass of argon m is mass of argon. So, mass of one argon atom is 40 by Avogadro number times 10 to the minus 3 kg. And we need to know the value of volume. Okay. So, how do we get? So, because if we considering ideal gas, temperature and pressures are given, considering ideal gas, we can write V is N R T by P, N is 1, R is 0 0.082 in liter atmosphere unit times temperature is 298 and pressure is 1. So, this is in liter. So, we get V in, in some value of liter. From there, we need to calculate volume in some value of meter to the 3. We have to convert it. Okay. So, if we substitute this, we get delta S here. Okay. So, we get the value of delta S is 155 joule per Kelvin. Okay, if we substitute all these values. So, the catch here is we need to consider that initial temperature is 0 because all the argon atoms are, are fixed, they do not they are not moving. And uh, we need to calculate S final. For calculating S final, we need to uh, use secuted dot equation. So, secuted dot equation says S final is number of particles time k b and then L n twice pi mass times k b times temperature uh, by h to the 2 and whole to the 3 by 2 volume e to the 5 5 by 2 and, and divided by number of particles. So, we the unknown quantities in this expression are m mass of argon atom we can calculate from the molecular weight of argon atom and uh, it is said that one mole of argon, get, argon gas is there. So, n is nothing but n a in this case and then uh, we need to calculate volume from for calculating volume we consider ideal gas equation of state and then uh, we consider n at v equals to n at t by p n is 1 r is 0 0.082 in liter atmosphere unit and uh, temperature is 298 K and pressure is 1 atmospheric pressure. So, if we substitute all these things, we get uh, volume in liter. Once we get the volume in liter, we need to convert volume in meter to the 3. Okay. And once we get the volume, we substitute volume, mass and number of particles in secuted dot equation to calculate S final. Once we get S final, uh, we can calculate uh, delta S which is nothing but S final because as is initial is 0. Okay. And if we substitute all these things, we get delta S or change in entropy is 155 joule per Kelvin. So, again uh, this is a straightforward problem, but you need to think uh, before uh, uh, starting uh, uh, start solving this problem. Next, we consider another problem. Uh, problem number 14. This is a very, very simple but again interesting problem. Consider
n a number of n a equals to Avogadro numbers, n a is nothing but Avogadro's number. So, consider Avogadro's number of distinguishable particles. distinguishable and identical particles. Each of which can be placed into three available energy states having energies zero epsilon which is the epsilon is doubly degenerate. and 2 epsilon respectively. Where epsilon is 300 times k beta. By considering canonical ensemble, calculate how much free energy A in joule unit at a temperature of 14. So, problem number 814 is consider Avogadro number of distinguishable particles, distinguishable and identical particles, each of which each of the particles can be placed into three available energy states having energies 0 epsilon which is epsilon is double degenerate and 2 epsilon. So, it says that 0 and 2 epsilon states are non degenerate, where epsilon is uh, the value of epsilon is 300 times k b, 300 times Boltzmann constant. By considering canonical ensemble, calculate Helmholtz free energy in joule unit at a temperature of 300 Kelvin. So, uh, all particles are identical as well as distinguishable. So, molecular partition function Q is sum over i g i times e to the minus beta epsilon i, where g i is the degeneracy of the ith state and epsilon i is the energy of the ith state. Here we have three available state states, so i goes from 1 to 3. So, if we expand it, we get q is g 1 e to the minus beta epsilon 1 plus g 2 times e to the minus beta epsilon 2 plus g 3 times e to the minus beta epsilon 3 and g 1 is 1, g 2 is 2, g 3 is again 1 and epsilon 1 is 0, epsilon 2 is epsilon and epsilon 3 is 2 epsilon as mentioned in the problem. So, we will substitute this, so we get q is 1 plus 2 e to the minus beta epsilon plus e to the minus 2 beta epsilon. 
So, it gives us q is 1 plus e to the minus beta epsilon to the 2. So, this is the partition function or partition function of a single uh, particle. Now, we can further simplify q. Okay, so, q is 1 plus e to the minus epsilon by k v t to the 2 and the value of epsilon is given 300 k times k v. So, if we substitute that we get 1 plus e to the minus 300 times k v by k v and temperature is given 300 to the 2. So, the value of q is 1 plus e to the minus 1 to the so, this is the value of partition function, molecular partition function, partition function of a single molecule. So, we have got a number of identical as well as distinguishable uh, particles. So, since particles are, since particles are distinguishable, so canonical partition function. function of any number of particles if we say canonical partition function is q this function of n v t is q to the n a here n is nothing but n a so we get q canonical partition function q is 1 plus e to the minus 1 whole to the 2 n. So, this is the partition function of the system having n number of n a number of identical distinguishable particles. So, once we get q we can calculate a ok. So, a is minus k v t ln q minus k v t l n q. So, we need to calculate l n q. So, once we get q, we get l n q is twice n a l n 1 plus e to the minus 1. So, we get a is minus k b times t times twice n a l n 1 plus e to the minus 1 and n a times k v gives r gets constant r. So, minus 2 r t l n 1 plus e to the minus 1 and if we further simplify that we get minus 1 5 6 3 zero. Okay. joules per mole. Okay. So, this is the value of much free energy at 300 Kelvin temperature. Okay, so, next we discuss another simple problem. Consider a system that can be in one of two states having energies zero and twice epsilon respectively. Considering both the states, both the states are equally likely calculate the average energy
epsilon and the variance of energy sigma epsilon to the 2 in thermal equilibrium at temperature T Kelvin. So, this is the 15 number 15 problem is consider a system that can be in one of two states having energies 0 and 2 epsilon respectively. Considering both the states are equally likely, calculate the average energy epsilon average and the variance of energy sigma epsilon to the 2 in thermal equilibrium at temperature T Kelvin. So, it is given epsilon 1 is 0, epsilon 2 is 2 epsilon and there is nothing mentioned about degeneracy. So, we will consider these are non-degenerate states states. So, and, and the both the states since both the states are equally likely so p1 so probability p1 equals to half and p2 equals to half where p1 is the probability of state epsilon 1 and p 2 is the probability of state epsilon 2. Okay, so, we need to calculate average energy. So, epsilon average is sum of our i goes from 1 to 2 because only two states are available. I epsilon. So, this is the definition of average of any average uh, quantity. So, epsilon average is P 1 times epsilon 1 plus P 2 times epsilon 2 and if we substitute the value of P 1 is half epsilon 1 is 0 and value of P 2 is again half and epsilon 2 is 2 epsilon. So, we get average of energy is epsilon and next we need to calculate variance of energy or sigma uh, epsilon to the 2. So, variance of energy epsilon is epsilon to the 2 average minus epsilon average to the 2. Now, epsilon to the 2 average because epsilon average we have already got. So, epsilon 2 average is P 1 epsilon 1 average to the 2 plus P 2 epsilon average to the 2. So, oh, we get epsilon square average is half times 4 epsilon to the 2 or we get 2 epsilon to the 2. So, variance of energy epsilon is 2 epsilon to the 2 minus epsilon to the 2. So, we get variance of energy sigma uh, epsilon to the 2 is nothing but epsilon square. So, again this is a, a very straightforward and, and simple problem. Okay, the next problem we discuss is another analytical problem so that if a partition function is of the form
Q in V T. Q to the n by factorial n, where n is the number of particles, V is the volume and T is the absolute temperature. And if Q V T is function of T times volume, then the ideal gas equation of states of state results. Here V is volume and T is absolute temperature and N is number of particles. So, this problem states so that if a partition function is of the form q is molecular partition function to the n by factorial n and if molecular partition function is of the form function of t times v, then the ideal gas equation of state results. Okay. And here also I should mention if t is function of temperature only a function of temperature only. So, we need to obtain ideal gas equation of state and Q is given here. So, we need to calculate pressure or average pressure. Okay. So, Q is Q to the n by factorial n and Q is given as function of T times volume to the n by factorial n. So, in order to calculate pressure, we need to calculate first logarithm of partition function, once we get the logarithm of partition function q, we will differentiate the partition fun function with respect to, we will differentiate logarithm of q with respect to volume at constant number of particles and temperature, we get the average pressure. So, as I said, so we need to calculate logarithm of q. So, logarithm of q is n ln function of T plus n ln volume minus ln n factorial. So, del ln q by del v at constant number of particles and temperature. So, first term gives 0, second term gives n by v and third term is again 0 and average pressure is nothing but K B times T del L n Q by del V at constant number of particles and temperature. So, if we get the value of del L n Q by del V as n by V, so if we substitute we get n K B T by V and n K B T is nothing but n K B is nothing but n times n a times k v times t by v. So, we get average pressure times volume is n at t, where capital N is nothing but n times n a, n a is the Avogadro, Avogadro's number 
and small n is the number of moles. Small n is the number of moles. and N A is the Avogadro's number. So, we have proved that average pressure times volume gives N R T. So, I repeat again. So, here molecular partition is a function of temperature times volume and the partition function of the system Q is Q to the n by small n or partition molecular partition function to the n by small uh, n factorial. Now, if we substitute <coughs> molecular partition function by function of temperature times volume, then if we take the log of that, we get ln Q equals to n ln function of temperature plus n ln V minus A ln n factorial and we need to obtain or we need to get the ideal gas equation of state. So, in order to get the ideal gas equation of state from the uh, canonical partition function, we need to differentiate ln q with respect to volume because this gives us pressure if we multiply d ln q or del ln q by del v with this by k b t k k b times t. So, we get if we differentiate we get del ln q by del v is capital N by v or capital N by volume and then pressure is k b t del ln q by del v at constant number of particles and temperature. So, if we substitute uh, del ln q by del v by n by v, we get n k v t by v and then we get n uh, pressure times volume gives n r t so, or small n r t where small n is the number of moles and uh, n a here is number of uh, Avogadro's number. And then the next problem is another analytical problem. calculate the equation of state associated with the partition function Q in V beta is 1 by factorial N twice by M by H cross times beta to the 3 N by 2 times V minus N V to the N then E to the beta A N square by V. where A and B are constants and H cross is H by twice by beta is 1 by K B T. B is volume n is number of particles and T is absolute temperature. So, this problem says calculate the equation of state associated with the partition function Q which is 1 by n factorial times twice pi m by h cross to the 2 times beta to, to the 3 by n by 2 uh, times v 
minus n b to the 2 and e to the beta a n to the 2 y v, where a and b are constants and h cross is h by 2 by twice phi 2 times pi, beta is 1 by k b t and v is volume n is number of particles and t is absolute temperature. So, this problem is very similar to the uh, previous problem we just discussed. Again, we need to calculate uh, gas equation of state from the partition function. So, we need to calculate average pressure from the partition function uh, given in the problem. So, partition function given in the problem is 1 by n factorial So, in order to get the get the pressure from the partition function, we need to first get logarithm of the canonical partition function q and then we need to differentiate with respect to v and then the product we get if we multiply by k v t we get the average pressure. So, q is, is given here. So, we need to now calculate logarithm of q. So, ln q is minus ln n factorial and then minus uh, plus 3 n by 2 ln twice pi m plus 3 n by 2 not sorry not my plus minus 3 n by 2 ln h cross to be 2 minus 3 n by 2 ln beta plus n ln v minus n b and then plus beta a n to the 2 y v. So, average pressure is k b t times del ln q by del v at constant number of particles and temperatures or beta. So, we get k b t and del ln q by del v if we differentiate ln q with respect to v, the first term gives 0, second term 0, third term again 0, fourth term 0, fifth term gives us n by v minus n b and the sixth term or last term gives us a minus beta a n to the 2 by v to the 2. So, we get average pressure P is n k b t by v minus b minus a n to the 2 by v to the 2 or we get average pressure plus a n to the 2 by v to the 2 times v minus b this gives us n n k b t. So, again I repeat here. So, this is nothing but this problem is based on so yeah, so at the end we get van der Waals gas equation of state so again i repeat this problem in this problem partition function is given as 1 by uh, factor uh, factorial n times twice pi m by h cross to the 2 times beta the whole thing to the 3 n by 2 then v minus n b to the n and e to the beta a n to the 2 by v where a and beta are constants and h cross is you know h cross is nothing but uh, h by 2 pi where h is Planck's constant beta is 1 by k b t where k b is Boltzmann's constant and v is volume and n is number of particles and t is absolute temperature. So, from this partition function 
we need to calculate the gas equation of state. So, in we know from the previous problem that in order to get gas equation of state from the partition function or canonical partition function, uh, we need to calculate average uh, pressure. So, from partition function expression q, uh, we first get logarithm of q and then uh, we differentiate the logarithm of q with respect to volume and then the, the resulting thing if we multiply by Boltzmann's Boltzmann constant time temperature, uh, then we get the average pressure and then uh, at the end we get average pressure is n times k b t k b uh, uh, times t by v minus n b not b v minus n b here. Okay, so, n b here. Okay, so, we get v minus uh, n k b t uh, by v minus n b and then we have uh, uh, minus a n to the 2 by v to the 2. Uh, so, if we rearrange we get p plus a n to the uh, a n uh, uh, to the 2 by v to the 2 uh, times v minus n b equals to n k b t. which is nothing but Mandel's gas equation of state. Thank you.